I'm Jose Saldana. This is where I do my daily devotion. Today we're looking at Acts chapter 1, verses 10 and 11. And I thank you for taking the time to be here for a minute. Uh, We're going to ask the question, which Jesus are you looking for? Verse number 10. And while they looked steadfastly toward heaven, as he went up, behold, two men stood by them in white apparel, which also said, You men of Galilee, why stand you gazing up into heaven? This same Jesus, which is taken up from you into heaven, shall so come in like manner as you have seen him go into heaven. Which Jesus are you looking for? Only one Jesus went up. Only one Jesus is coming back. 1 Timothy chapter 2 and verse 5. For there is one God and one mediator between God and men, the man Christ Jesus. So much of the world is trying so hard to fit Jesus into a mold that will fit their own preference. Uh, they want a homeboy Jesus. He was real popular for a little while. Nearly every culture produces art and depictions of Jesus, making him in their own image. Uh, and that's how you get a black Jesus, an Asian Jesus, a Latino Jesus, a white Jesus. Jesus on this earth was Jewish. There's a Jesus adapted for every person and even every lifestyle. Uh, our goal isn't to paint Jesus as we are as, or as we want him to be. Even a small example, a few years back, I went to Israel and there went to the, uh, went to Gethsemane and went to the tomb and saw where Jesus was laid, where he was buried. Um, I read before we went to Israel, something that I found very interesting about the tomb. Um, The tomb was originally, or it was owned by Joseph of Arimathea, who became a disciple of Jesus. And he is the one who asked the body um, of the guards for them to give him the body so that he could wrap it and lay it in tomb. While Joseph was a rich man, rich people, uh, they were able to purchase for themselves where they would like to be buried. So he purchases uh, this garden or this area in this garden and he hews out his tomb. This is where he was going to be buried someday. And when they would... uh, decide they were going to be buried there, they would take, somebody would take their measurements and then they would hew out this big, carve out this big uh, resting place in this tomb out of this rock. And so it was meant to fit your measurements. Well, rather than him being buried there, when Jesus had died, he asked for the body and he wrapped him in linen and he laid him in his own tomb. And archaeologists found that in that tomb, uh, somebody had done a rush job to carve out a few more inches where uh, the head of whoever was going to be laid there um, would be. And so they deducted that Jesus was about 5'11 or 6 feet if he was the one that was laid there, which we believe that he was, because it was originally hewed out for somebody that was about 5'8". But uh, because it was such a rush job, they kind of just carved out a small area to fit where uh, Jesus' head would fit. And so I thought that was really interesting, and I shared it with some of the people um, there on that trip. And uh, there was some shorter preachers, about 5'6", five, 5'7", five, and I told and, you know, I told them that I thought it was interesting. And, oh, no, that's not true at all. Jesus was 5'7". Five, seven, five, six, five, seven. He couldn't be any taller than that. And I started laughing to myself because this is what came to my mind is, uh, I, I like the idea that Jesus was five eleven or five or six feet because I myself am six feet even. And the preachers that I was talking to, they're like five, six, five, seven. So they wanted a five, six or five, seven Jesus. Everybody wants a Jesus to be just like them, to look like them and talk like them and think like them. And we all want Jesus to fit our mold. But our goal isn't to paint Jesus as we are or as we want him to be. He is the potter. We are the clay. And we're supposed to be shaped and molded into his image. I don't want a changed Jesus. I want the one. I don't want a substitute. I want the real deal. I'm not, I, I don't want a replica. I'm looking for that same Jesus that went up. I want, I'm looking for him to come back. 
Hebrews chapter 13 and verse 8. Jesus Christ, the same yesterday, today, and forever. That's who I want to see. That's who I want to be like. That's who I fell in love with. And that's who hears me when I pray. And he's the one who shed his blood for me and laid down his life for me. So that's who I'm after. Give me that same Jesus. I don't want to change him. I don't want culture and society to try to change him. I I don't want to change him to fit my preference. I want him to change my heart.